This video, we get together with four other YouTube travel channels and we play truth and dare. This video was full of laughing, singing, dancing, sleeping with lions. And at the end, we have a small bloopers reel, as if it could get any funnier. And finally, we spend more time introducing the other channels. Please stay tuned and check them out. They are funny people with great stories. Check out their YouTube channels. The links are in the description below. I'll start with us being after the come. So we're doing little campers. I'm Shauna. <laughs> I'm Trevor. Hey. Um, so I'm Sue. Uh, uh, my name is Amy. All right, so this is Truth or Dare in the style of the game 21 Dares. But basically, you, you count as a group from 1 to 21 in each round, and you're allowed to say either 1, 2, or 3 numbers in a row. And whoever says 21 gets asked Truth or Dare. And then you choose, and then we do what's ever on the list. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one. <laughs> 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 uh, tree for that. True. <laughs> Where's the weirdest place you slept when you were on your travels? In Ottawa, in Canada. It was a haunted prison, hostel. The whole hostel used to be a prison in the night, I think it was from the 1800s to the 1940s. And I got a room which was an actual cell that they used for actual prisoners. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Did they lock you in at night? Um, you locked yourself in, but they still had like the the barred doors with the metal bars and they give you a little key to lock yourself in and then they had a little plaque on the on the wall to say a name of a notorious prisoner that stayed in your very cell oh, wow. and oh, wow. they had they it was the prison actually had executions and stuff as well so they kept death row the same as it was back then it's pretty spooky <laughs> wow did you see a ghost no, I was hoping I didn't, so... <laughs> if you sleep well or really badly? I actually slept really, really well. <laughs> are you going yeah. for truth or are you going to be brave and go for dare? I'm going to go for dare. You're always used to go, go for dare. dare as a kid. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> like, shaking his head like, no! <laughs> <laughs> we've done our homework and we've watched all of your vlogs and, uh, yeah, we've loved all of you guys' oh. vlogs. Yeah, one thing that came out with you guys um, after was Tamsin's faces. So basically, we found that your face is just so animated and, and we okay. love it. So basically, what we would like you to do is using only your face, we want you to go through a range of at least six emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you list emotions and then I'll, I'll do them with my face. Okay. Contempt. Contempt. Oh god, that's a hard one. <laughs> that's more like hate or envy. Disdain. Dis <laughs> <laughs> Disdain. Uh, um, He's stitching you up here, isn't he? A little bit. <laughs> Peepiness. Okay. <laughs> um, hungry. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a truth or a dare? I'll have a truth, please. Share one of the travel scrapes you've had. So one of my one of my best travel scrapes when I was camping what well, years and years years ago when I was camping in the Serengeti and we were attacked wow. by lions. Oh, wow. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it sounds mad. So um, basically, we, ca we were camping, so all of us had our tents in a semicircle, and then there was the truck that we were travelling on an overland trip with. So we were all fast asleep, and there was this noise in the camp. And we'd been winding each other up before about being attacked by animals, because we heard all these noises, and we were just told, no, 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 they're miles away, they're miles away. Um, just sounds really close. And um, yeah. basically, they, they say that you should never pee near your tent, and um, there was a couple there and they peeked just behind their tent and it attracted the lions. And so in the middle oh, of no. the night, oh my God. We, had, we had three lions playing in our campsite 
and um, the the couple they they were alerted because they had breathing right near the ear, and one of them slumped down on oh the on their tent, and basically they were just running right around their tent for an hour and a half apparently. And, um, that sounds amazing and scary at the same time. <laughs> it was amazing and scary at the same time. Absolutely. It, it was both of those things. And, and I, in my head, I was like, oh, that's miles away. And I kind of turned around and went back to sleep again. Everyone else was pulling me to their tent poles with a pen knife, which was all we had. Yeah. And then um, the next morning, um, one, of the, one of the groups had everything stolen from the front of their tent. Oh, it had uh, bite marks in it. <laughs> So the water bottle had punctures in it. Um, his trainer went missing completely. We never found that again. And um, <laughs> a couple of the girls had a washing line hung up and everything had been torn down. And So truth or dare? Reenact a cruise ship safety drill. So I've, I've actually got a degree in theatre, so... Uh... <laughs> When you hear the emergency signal, please go to the muster station. The emergency signal will be three long blasts on the ship's horn. <laughs> Followed by three whistles. <laughs> Once you've arrived at your muster station, please put on your life jacket. Tie the toggles around your waist. You have a whistle for attracting, attracting attention and a flashing light. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, do you want to go there? It's the truth. It's the truth. Oh, they did. Reference to your name after the calm. What is your most chaotic experience whilst traveling and why? I think for me, it was the ferry from Dar es Salaam to, to Zanzibar. Did you have to put on the life jacket? <laughs> oh, that was Total chaos. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sort of spray it. It was so hot. We also got mobbed by a group of people. And then they also, because it was so hot, they used to spray people in the queue to get on the boat. So it felt like you were kind of in a cattle farm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then at the, other, at the other end, there was this weird kind of immigration you had to go through because Tanzania and Zanzibar are kind of the same country, but Zanzibar's slightly separate so you have to go through passport control but it was kind of like everyone for themselves just push your way forward through to the check-in desk and you got to throw all your bags through a scanner and everything like that but there's sheep everywhere and animals and it's like the most insane immigration point you can ever imagine and it was just it was the epitome for me of total chaos but it was it was such a great experience as well Truth or dare? Dare. Anytime anyone goes on holiday, there's always that one song that reminds them of that holiday. Pick your favorite song and sing it. <laughs> <laughs> no. That one from Cuba, that was the best song. Hey, hey, baby. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, I wanna oh, know. Do no. you be my, my girl? girl. And hey. <laughs> kind of reminds us of being drunk on a beach. <laughs> Claire's gonna do it there. Oh, <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. But Liz is getting Just volunteered her. <laughs> Pretend to eat your favorite cultural food. What's your favorite cultural food? Uh, What's your favorite food? Burger. 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 Yeah, American. Okay, burger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big burger. <laughs> i go for another dare. Go on. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, this one might be a bit difficult. You might have to move the camera slightly. Um, okay. So, following your visit to Kennedy Space Center, we want you to give us your best moonwalk. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh god. Okay, hang on. Nice. Nice. 
was good. I woke my dog up. Hey, buddy. I don't know. Have we been disconnected? Oh, no. Hello? No. Yeah, yeah. Can you you? We can't see any of you guys. Uh, oh, <laughs> we see you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, Claire said it might be because I was playing with my pencil. Um, <laughs> how do you clap? Courtly travellers just clap. There's a reaction button at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, oh. yes. Oh. Are we clapping? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well done, everyone. How do we stop clapping? Oh, it just, just wears off. For a few seconds. The clap yeah. just goes away. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird to see you all on here as well. Like we've seen you on in your vlogs. I'm like oh, speaking to celebrities. <laughs> I know you, you, you don't normally <laughs> you don't normally reply when I shout at the telly when I'm watching you guys on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I'll start with us being after the come. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Um, we're actually separate because we were away on our travels um, and then something happened. Um, I don't know if you know what that was, um, but we all ended up having to come home. We ended up, because we packed up our lives and packed up our flat and everything, we ended up with nowhere to live. <laughs> so we both are our relevant parents at the moment, so we ended up being separate. So that's why we're on two separate screens. And all now for, what, just over six months? And uh, we love it. We absolutely love it. It's great. Hi, Bye, guys. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, you all right? How are you doing? Um, so we're doing little campers. We are from uh, Bedfordshire in England. And uh, as you can see, we're in the camper van. Uh, that's what our vlog's about. Um, it's about vlogging from the camper van, going away and visiting places. But also, um, we've got a little tiny cottage. And if we were inside with the dog asleep, um, she wouldn't be asleep for long. So we've come outside so that she can get a bit of peace and quiet. She's only us. just settled, so I'm hoping she stays asleep. <laughs> <laughs> We did a couple of fun vlogs um, from a couple of cruises last year. We've been, uh, we've been vlogging with the camper van since like the start of the year, so we've not really done anything major. Um, we don't go abroad too much, just a couple of cruises. Um, mainly our vlogs are going to be about the UK. Hi, um, so I'm Sue um, of Sue Where Why What. Um, so I mainly vlog, um, and I've probably just got into YouTube for about the last six months or so. So I've done a lot of videos, um, but I kind of like started focusing a little bit more on that in the last six months. Um, so I travel wherever the mood takes me, um, wherever I fancy going. Uh, last year, I, the last couple of years, I've spent quite a bit of time in the Caribbean. Um, last year, six months in Antigua, the year before traveling around a lot. Um, and I represent the older group, so I turned 50 last year and uh, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro to celebrate. I do stuff based on my life list that I created um, to kind of tick things off, do stuff that I want to do in my life. And um, yeah, so I'm working my way through that. Um, my name is Amy. Uh, I have this channel for about maybe two years odd. Kind of a lot of my travel vlogs are about um, spontaneous travel, budget travel, that kind of thing. Um, last year I'd done a working holiday visa in Canada, in BC, and <laughs> I was uh, working in Whistler for about six months. And then started this year, I went backpacking for about six weeks uh, around Canada. And um, now, since I'm home and stuff like that, after this, Lockdown stuff is finished, then I plan to travel a bit of Europe, go to Morocco, and maybe someday head towards Asia. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out those other channels. We'll see you in the next video.